Hey friends, welcome back. FE Review, Mechanics of Materials. We've got a little problem here. I think this is the hardest problem that we've done so far. So a good little challenge for you here. If P equals 45,000 kilonewtons, okay? Now look, this thing is pin connected, pin connected, pin connected. Well, there's the P right up there on the top. Find the change in length of member AC. This one over here. Uh, given that the modulus elasticity is 200 GPA, I'm given the cross section of the pieces. Now the important thing is this angle here is equal to that angle, but that's all I know. There are your answer choices. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm gonna work it for you. Let's see if we get the same answer, okay? Ready, set, go. All right, team, are you back? This is a toughie. This is a toughie. I like toughies though, okay? Number one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I'm going to go at this like this. I'm going to get this guy right here. I'm going to call this Y, that, that vertical side of that triangle there, okay? I'm going to call him Y. So let's see if we can find this in terms of theta, okay? So we've got two kind of similar triangles. So we'll start with this guy right here. Let's do sine. Sine of theta is equal to, no, let's don't do sine. Let's do sine for this one, okay? because y is the opposite side on that triangle, okay? So opposite y divided by hypotenuse, 1.5. Okay, cool. This one, the y is adjacent, so let's do cosine, okay? Equals y divided by 1.2. Uh, let's solve this guy for y. So y is equal to 1.2 cos theta, okay? Plug that one in for that y right there right? And I get 1.2 cos theta over 1.5. Do you see it? Divide both sides by cosine theta, right? And what do we get? What is this over here? We get tan theta is equal to 1.2 divided by 1.5. Oh, dude, I got theta all day, okay? Theta, 1.2 divided by 1.5 inverse 10, 38.66 degrees. Okay, so I know, let's draw a free body diagram, okay? I know that this guy, here's 45,000 kilonewtons, these are in kilonewtons. This guy is uh, AB. And then this guy, whoop, is AC, right? And so this angle right here, 38.66. This angle right here, 38.66. Okay, so I've got components here, 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 and here. Okay. So if we take this guy and we do this, some of the forces in the X some of the forces in the Y. Okay, in the X, what do we got? I got that guy, which is AB sine 38.66 minus this guy, AC cosine 38.66. All that equals to zero, okay? And then A, B, going uphill, I got two going uphill, and then that guy going downhill. Cosine 38.66 plus A, C going uphill, sine 38.66 equals, I'm gonna move that 45,000, that negative to the other side, okay? Now look what I have here, check it out. Check, 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 check it out, word. I got that thing set up perfect for my TI-36 Pro system solver. Do not go take the FE unless you have one of these that does system solver. Don't do it, okay? So all I gotta do here is just go clear, second, system solve, system solve, where is system solve? There it is, boom. And then hit enter for two by two, and then enter that, negative, that, that, uh, zero, and then this, positive, that, and then 45,000. Enter, 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 enter. And I get 
solve, bloop, does the math for me. Okay, it says that AB is equal to 36,886.5 kilonewtons, okay? And then AC is equal to 25,775.65 kilonewtons, okay? Now that, these are the forces, that's the force inside of those members, this compressive force here, okay? But we're asked to come up with what is delta, the change in length. So we need an equation for delta. How about this one? Delta equals PL over AE. Because do we know P? Yep, we just found it. Do we know L? Yep, right there. Do we know the cross-sectional area? Yep, right there. Do we know E? Yep, right there. We know everything, don't we? Okay, so here we go. E equals P. So we're interested in AC. 25,775.65. Okay, and that's in kilonewtons now. Ooh, let's just do this. Can we do this? Now it's in newtons. Boom, I put three more zeros on it, okay? Times L. What's L in? 1.5 meters. I'm gonna put it in millimeters. So let's put 1500 mm's, okay? Divided by A given in millimeters, 3500 mm squared times E, okay? Now we want E to be in newtons and in millimeters. Ooh, that's gigas. We need it in megas, because mega, mega's what? Newton over millimeter squared. That's what, so just put three more zeros on it. 200, one, two, three. Dude, we are there. Okay, clear. 25, 775, 650 times 1500 equals, divided by 3500 equals, divided by 200 thousand equals 55.23. Okay, do we have an answer close to that? Answer A. Okay, did we do it? Oh, that's a toughie right there, y'all. If you can do that, you're gonna be the champ on the test, okay? See you on the next video.